there's a law that can save your tax dollars, but few cities are using it. The law says cities can collect fees during DUI stops when tow trucks or paramedics are needed. Investigative reporter Chris Horn is looking into these missed financial opportunities. Chris? Yeah, Tom and Nicole, we started this investigation in one of the area's smaller cities, but then we expanded it to the bigger metro areas. Cities can collect reimbursement for their expenses relating to a DUI case. We found in several cities that instead of collecting money, that reimbursement law seems to be collecting dust. Some of our larger cities are leaving money on the table by failing to fine. Eight years ago, Ronald McClenny had an idea. The Franklin police sergeant wanted DUI offenders to reimburse the city for services connected to their crime, fire and rescue, tow truck, and repair work to public property. I knew this was money that could be collected and it wouldn't take much effort to collect it. The city passed the law and McClenny even won an award for his idea. A few years later, he wanted to see how the DUI ordinance was helping the city's balance sheet. Basically, nothing is being done. We checked too and found the same thing. The fee is on the books, but it is not being imposed. So instead of saving the taxpayers some money, I wasted taxpayers' dollars myself by, by doing the research and the time I spent looking these things up. Like McClenny, we went looking for answers. Franklin City Attorney says there are several reasons why the DUI fine goes unused. We are not surprised, I guess, by the fact that it's not applicable uh, or hasn't been applied on a regular basis. Franklin has low speed limits. We don't have but two streets in the entire city that have a speed limit that is above 35 miles an hour. Few watering holes. We really don't have uh, a whole lot of night spots where people could go and drink. And a population of just 8,500. So we investigated some bigger fish. Of the seven cities, four of them have laws similar to Franklin's. Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, Hampton, and Norfolk. Chesapeake collected an average of $24,000 each year on the DUI fee over the past three years. Virginia Beach used its law to collect $27,000 last year. It's not a large sum of money, but obviously in, a, in an environment such as ours, anything helps. In Hampton, we sampled more than 300 DUI convictions, and the city imposed the fee just twice. Norfolk does not pursue it at all. A statement from the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office says, it's our practice to not pursue this matter as an element of our DUI cases. Still, we're aware of the applicable city and state laws and discuss them from time to time. That surprised Norfolk Commissioner of the Revenue, Evans Poston. Anything we can do to collect some kind of fee without taxing the citizens is probably worth looking at. Poston says if the city could collect, say, $25,000 a year, that could go toward a salary for a police officer, a firefighter, or a teacher. And they could probably do some neighborhood improvements with some of that money. Virginia Beach has streamlined the process, creating a direct line from the arresting officer to the treasurer. The police department monitors the, uh, the offense, mm -hmm. puts the information into my computer system, and we in turn take over from there. Maybe other cities could use Atkinson's system, and that would make the guy with the award-winning idea a lot happier. Absolutely. That money they could be collecting could help pay the officers or reimburse the, the, the city coffers. So why couldn't the larger cities who don't even have the law, Portsmouth, Suffolk, and Newport News, put one into place? And what about Norfolk, who has it but doesn't use it? Maybe they should talk with Virginia Beach, which is proof that a city can make this law work. Now, cities have an option of charging a flat $350 per DUI conviction, or their actual costs to a maximum of $1,000. If a city does charge the DUI fee and the offender does not pay it, the state can take over and deduct it from any state tax refund. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.